Okay guys, having a little shop day here today. Again with the Bronco, trying to solve some more problems with it. We decided for some mud flaps and we're not gonna do front and rear mud flaps. We're just going to do the fronts because we're having a rock problem. The factory tires that come on the Bronco are, it's a really tight tread pattern. And you can see, I mean, we've got tons of rocks in there now and it likes to sling and, and we're a little worried about the paint. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can remedy that situation today with rock blocks. We've got a company sent us, uh, we purchased these, we're not affiliated with them in any way, but it looks like a really cool kit, come with all the brackets. Uh, metal brackets, hardware, things like that that will go on to our Bronco. Now we ordered a set of factory style and they would not work. We've got the Sasquatch package on this one. The factory mud flaps would not go. We've got the factory running boards and it just wouldn't go in there and, and line up. They weren't big enough. We ordered those from the factory and they just, they wouldn't work. So we sent those back and we reached out to a company. Now this is a huge difference guys. You know, I paid 60 bucks for the factory mud flaps and the rock blocks everybody was recommending these guys but it ended up being 200 and pretty near 80 dollars might as well say for for the kit and this is just front only but these are kind of cool in a way that they were removable they come with um, some removable pins and hardware if you go off road you don't want those things rubbing up on rocks or getting bound up in your tires or something like that but it's a it's a hard rigid plastic but i like that we could pop them off there if we wanted to and the factory ones wanted to drill into the fenders here and I, I just didn't want to do any of that so we're going to try out this kit and see what it's all about and i thought i'd share it with you guys like i said we're one step at a time we're making bronco headway we've got a lot of cool exciting things coming and just trying to make it ours and improve upon uh, the platform but so far we're loving it it's really cool stick around and stay tuned because i'm going to show you what these guys are all about okay guys moving right along it's a really good kit guys the instructions here gives you a little QR. Just scan that and uh, I won't bore you guys with an installation video because they provide you with a really, really good video. They don't provide you with uh, with the blue Loctite, but you know, that's, that's cheap. You can pick that up anywhere and they do recommend the blue Loctite for the hardware that goes on to the actual mud flap. And I've got all that installed. They give you a couple of different plates. One is without Sasquatch package, one is with, ours is with, so it's the bigger flap, but those are easy. Allen wrench or or whatever you want there, a little eighth inch tool. The Sasquatch is a different size socket. It's a three quarter to actually install the bracket, which is really nice guys, because the, the, other, the other flaps are just, they're cheap, flimsy, have a lot of little plastic clips. This is a big metal bracket for the Sasquatch. It was a really easy install. The Sasquatch package doesn't have the crash bar right there. So, oh, there's my phone. Everything auto. Oh, sorry, wrong number. Oh, yep, you're good, thanks. Well, false alarm guys, wrong number. But anyway, uh, the Sasquatch package doesn't have the crash bar. Those had a bar that came way out to the fender. I'm not really sure. I guess it does what exactly what it says. It's a crash bar. But for the bigger tires, they don't do that because they don't want you rubbing. But there's one little bolt. Easy to take out. And this bracket goes in its place up here on the top and gives you two bolt holes to mount the mud flap and some, if I don't lose them, some quick and easy spin out with your finger if you want to remove the whole mud flap. Makes it really easy. And they do give you the hardware, the bigger bolts to put in for that mud flap. And I will show you on the other side what that looks like because we do have it installed. Like I said, you can reach in here with the tire turned, obviously. You can spin those and you can take the whole mud flap off. But it gives you all of that coverage that you were needing. This window right here is where all of the rock chips and debris were coming up and, and getting onto that. But uh, it's a nice sturdy mud flap. So we're gonna get the other side buttoned up and put on there. Hopefully enjoy rock chip free Ford Bronco. Okay guys, both sides installed. Add a little light to the subject here. Uh, got clearance, quick connect screws are right back there. Turned out very well. This side here you can see a little better with the bracket installed. Hardware included, quick connects, and that side. So don't forget guys, grab you some mud flaps. You wanna protect that paint, keep this thing looking great. Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Got those mud flaps installed and then we got a call for the National Park here for a flat tire. 
Keep in mind, most cars do not come with a spare tire, so these guys are kind of in a worse way. They had seven, seven people in a minivan, flat tire, no spare. Uh, we're gonna see if we can go up here and help, but thought I'd let you guys tag along with us. Maybe see what the temperature change might be here. We're, it's just been brutal. I'm not sure in your neck of the woods how, how crazy hot it's been, but it's been pretty warm here in the Smokies, and uh, my truck says it's 91 degrees. I'm just over here, just outside of Gatlinburg right now, getting ready to head up the mountain. We'll let you guys know, see what it is once we get up there to the top and get this van hooked up, because they are at the tip top, Newfound Gap. I always like to monitor the, the temperature difference. It's always pretty drastic, but on a muggy, hot, nasty day, I don't know how big of a difference the temperature will be, but get that for you guys and around a couple of corners here and head to the top okay guys here we are we have arrived and it is 77 degrees at the top a 14 degree difference in what we've got going here so i think these people waving over here the park ranger and uh we're gonna get this loaded up and get back to the bottom all right guys uh we got a call for somebody that lost their brakes and hit a concrete wall so Hey buddy. I guess it's just, you want us to take it back to our lot for your insurance or? I guess pal, this is the first accident I've had, I'm 60 year old. Well I'm usually. I'm West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, usually what happens is we take it back and then you're, you just, we get a hold of your insurance company and they'll come out and look at it and decide where they want to take it and fix it or total it. Okay. So, one or the yeah, other. I was coming off that hill. Yeah. And. Did it have, and there was a uh, van SUV Cut. in front of me. Yeah. Didn't have no brakes. So I come through there, down this way, and turn, wow. and I seen that, and the first thing I thought was propane tanks. Yeah. I said, hang on, and that's why I hit it right there. Woo! <laughs> they was some guys up there come down some buddy. I don't know how you... I, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Wow. Getting through there is... Uh, yeah. Now, is there a hotel close to where y'all's at? I mean, there's several up and down the strip here. Well, like I said, we drove down this morning. Yeah. And we was going to get a hotel tonight, and I can't even tell you where I'm at. I know I'm in Gatlinburg. Yeah, you're you're downtown, so I mean, uh, the the trolley is probably your best bet. So the main trolley hub is just right down here, around this corner. And it can take you anywhere. It it take you over to Pigeon Forge if you wanted it to, but you better off to find a, a spot here. Just right here. You're right here, yeah. Okay, you you either you yeah, just just let us know what you need. If you need something out of it, just yeah. give us a call. And but yeah, the insurance company will take care of everything else. Okay. And you uh, need your insurance information or no? Just call them and tell them um, that you were in a, in an accident and. Uh, and to just give them our phone number and then they'll call us and go from there. I'll make sure you got a card. Yeah, give me a call. Yeah. So here's my car, 221 Newman Road. That's where the car will be, and our phone number's on the front. But yeah, just just let the insurance company know. It might make it easier to load and unload. Do you need your, I just need the, the car key. I don't want to take your other. No, I, don't worry about it. Are you sure? It's their door key from home. <laughs> well. <laughs> and we can't go home until right. tomorrow. Is well, there any car rentals that's open on Sundays around here? I would try with maybe Exo Rent. I want. I just want to make sure. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Exo Rent would be a, a good. Uh, let me see if I've got their number. Exo Rent. Yes. I'm gonna get them that information. I'm gonna get their information. You're, you need to turn around. Okay? I need to turn around. Okay. I'll shut this and I'll get them taken care of. Okay. What do you think? Think you can go? You can't go around the parking lot, can you? No. I wonder what the odds are that it'll. But it won't back up. It won't back up. Uh, I tried to back it up. I think something's like wrapped around this wheel or something. Probably right. It didn't bust a tire. It, did, it starts right up. It didn't bust a radiator or anything. It just got whatever. It just will not move. Yeah. I wonder if there's a hole or something there that it's underneath. It might just 
I can I could probably winch off this pole right here. Get it pulled out so it can head that way. All right, guys, it won't back up and I can't get to the other side of the parking lot. So we're gonna try to set up and winch off of that pole and get it over here so I can get it hooked up. Once again, guys, Bailey's, Bailey's equipment. Don't, don't leave home without it. Oh, it's okay. Hey, you guys are okay. That's, yeah. Man, that's the main thing. Yeah, you didn't end up off into one of these mountains over here. Yeah, no problem. Hey guys. No e-brake? Where's the key? I've got it. In my pocket. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> so where are y'all staying? Uh we're we'll gonna go up here and find the room. Okay. Y'all want some barbecue? No. Then thank you so much. Are you sure? sure? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no, I can. Alright, <laughs> cool. Sure go. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue, man, I might have to come get some. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's what I told them, and they're lucky. All right, guys, you got my info. Just, uh, yeah, let them know it's at our lot, and uh, they'll take care of you from there. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I got to clean up some candy. Yeah, sweet. It's always nice. Yes, it is. Tight squeeze down here, so we'll see what happens. How, how did this happen? He said he came down, down from this hill. Connor Heights. Greystone or Greystone Heights. Heights and somehow squeezed in between this and went all the way around the parking lot and ended up back over there behind us. 
Very How in the world did he squeeze in here? Like I could barely make it in here, but he came off of that road and okay. in between this gate and went through here and around the parking lot. Oh my gosh, so he must have been flying. How did he come through here on two wheels? How did he not hit any cars? Oh my goodness. Like That's I said, I don't know how you squeeze through this oh, wow. without brakes. Wow. wow. They're very fortunate. Do you want me to get out and watch? What's this guy doing on the complete wrong side of the road? Okay. I'm good over here. You've got plenty of room over here. Absolutely crazy to squeeze through that. Mm. Coming from that direction where that Polaris is. That's insane. Oh well, they are okay. Somehow, some way. We've got a little road rage going on up here. Hey, that white Lexus is blue truck in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still yelling profanity. I thought they come flying around me rather fast. Which one? The white truck? The blue, the blue truck. Okay. He come, flew, come flying around. And, oh, my goodness. Follow. Of course, the white car did too. I don't know if the white car is a part of it or not. Well, they're all local tags. This white car is getting over as part of it too. I think so. I, I don't know for sure. I, I don't know what happened, but yeah, they were they were cussing each other out, saying, uh, calling each other scared. <laughs> one was scared, and the other one was proud of it. <laughs> now they're going to chase each other down the spur. So I don't know. Stick around, stay tuned. You might see somebody wadded up on the corner down here somewhere. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you, man. Nice truck. Thank you, buddy. We got called down here for a parking in a reserved parking spot. I'm guessing it's that big orange. No, so it was a F 250? F 250, maybe. You said big orange building. Yeah, big orange building. She said gray, didn't she? Huh. Where's their reserved parking? That's a good question. I'm going to see how far along that the truck is. Uh, we're in the I, we're in the parking lot, but we don't know where the vehicle is located. Over to if you go to the left, get now come to your left. Okay. It's the truck in that first spot. The first spot, right next to the dumpster. Yeah. Okay. All yep. right. She'll have to. I'll have to get a signature from you, dear. The, your lot guys over here are given quite a bit of grief. They say you don't have permission to tow anything away, and it's not marked. Uh, I, I don't. That's... Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the deal is with the guy. The guy running the Where gate. The guy running the gate was being quite hateful about it. Who? Uh, well, then maybe because they've told me to to tow it and now they're saying that I don't have permission to tow it that's what I'm gonna get they're the ones that told me to tow it if I need to tow it <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a mixed signal here I don't uh, are you the manager of the yeah I'm the assistant manager okay um, but if they're saying that I don't have permission to tow it then but I don't understand because they told me to tow it yeah I mean maybe we need to get together and go talk to this guy at the gate because I, I don't know why he's he's telling me that that you don't if he's telling you that you do I, I mean i'm out here if you want to walk over there with me we can discuss it with him if you'd like i'm right he told me before to, not today but he's told me before to have any vehicles towed that's in this reserve spot and now he's saying that i don't have permission yeah the uh, maybe we're not talking about the same guy yeah, but the older guy the older there, guy yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, if you want to walk over there with me, I'd be glad to get... Let me call my boss. Okay. Because this is broken. Uh, it sounds like it. I mean, because it's clearly marked on the ground. He was telling me it wasn't marked. I'm like, it's painted on the ground. I mean, he's the one that told me in the first place to tow anything, and now they're, get, now they're revoking that permission. So, oh, I don't know what to do. But he's not. He's just working the lot. So he doesn't own the lot. It makes no sense. This is, these are our spots. We pay for them. That's yeah. Like I said, I can clearly see that they're marked on. They're painted, but he was telling me they weren't marked. He said she has no permission because they're not marked. 
And I guess it's it's an out of state. I don't. I guess I don't understand why they. Well, there's plenty of parking over there. Why are they coming over here? Mississippi. Is it it's a Mississippi. Uh, oh, I have no idea what to do then. There's he's the one that told me to tell anything, and my boss isn't answering her phone. That's crazy. I'm so sorry that this is going on. No, no, I mean, we're glad to help. We're always over here in the area, and, and parking is absolutely ridiculous most of the time, and, and people just take advantage of, of all of this stuff. And if you guys need these spots, you pay for these spots, then they're your spots. And you're you're the management, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know why he's, he was kind of being uh, hateful it's down there. It's crazy that he's being that way because he's the one that's told me, tow it, have it towed. But I mean, it wasn't today. Yeah. It was, it was a time before because <laughs> I've had to pay to get in here because to freaking get keep parking in my Park. freaking parking spot yeah that's and I'm crazy tired of it. yeah no i don't blame you at all that that makes perfect sense i'm guessing he's just working the booth i don't i don't know why he would i mean clearly he doesn't have any authority to tow anybody he's just taking know, money and working now the that's booth. got me worried about towing him if i don't have permission because he's the one that freaking told me in the first place yeah well he said i'm not giving you permission to tow anything i said no that's fine i he didn't call me you called me and you're the manager of the of the building and then he said well those spots up there are not they're not marked and i'm like well <laughs> they look like they're marked to me but <laughs> i don't understand why he keeps saying that as well maybe marked that it will be towed uh yeah i think what he's talking about is saying that it you know vehicles will be towed i think that's what he's talking about maybe well, maybe he doesn't know that they're parking their reserved spots yeah he does he doesn't care yeah. And he he will charge me, even though it's an out-of-state tag. It has nothing to do with us. Yeah. He's, he's the one in charge of the parking spot. He will charge me to park. Wow. So I'm parked over there. So, but if you're parked there, you don't have to pay. Right. But if you're parked over there, you have to pay for a spot. Right. Yeah. That is crazy. That's quite the... So now I'm completely confused on what to do, because he's the one that gave me permission before. Well, I'd have him towed then. And yet yeah. now he's saying I don't have permission. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, maybe if you can get a hold of somebody that that can give you a definite answer, by all means, you can call us back. But okay, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble over anything. You know. I'm so sorry. No, no. No, no. We we'll help out. Definitely keep right. my number, save my number, whatever you got to do. I will get the answer for now on, and it won't happen again unless I, if I have permission, I will call. Get it, yeah, because we can take care of it. We. I'm so sorry. No, we're over here all the time, and these parking lots are crazy. We're always, we're always towing and stuff like that. Are but you? and if you find out before then, I'm, this it looks like he's going to be there for a while. So just give us a call back. Mm -hmm. I just don't want you to have to I, yeah, I don't answer to any. Any know, crazy stuff. I'm worried about that with him saying that, trying don't to. Don't mine, okay? I'm too far away from home. <laughs> well, which one are you? I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too well, far from home. John. No, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's no. I hate that for you because it's your spot. You yeah. shouldn't have to pay to come. And he and what me <laughs> off is like he will even though they paid to get in here, he will charge me <laughs> every time. Uh. Whose parking lot is it? So this belongs to, um, it's a it's a company that has like three of them or something like that. But we, they wouldn't give us this back parking lot or we couldn't pay for it. We pay 50000 a year for these two parking spots. Wow. 52000 a year and we can't even use them half the time. Yeah. They even, we, I put cones and stuff, they will kick our shit out of the way and park there. Wow. That's why I'm like, I'm done. No, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. Well, I mean, it's... Yeah. Huh. So if they won't let you tow, if you can't, you pay for these spots, but they won't let you tow out of them. I think it's a contract violation. I'm going to contact my, I'm going to contact my district. Yeah, I'm going to email her. That, I mean, yeah, they can't charge you for something that you can't maintain. Right. You're for those spots, but you can't use them for somebody else, and then you can't afford I'm so glad you said that. I am definitely going to be contacting. Oh, that's I was going to have them towed, but now the guy that um, is in charge of the parking lot is going ballistic. 
because he's saying that I don't have permission to tow them and all this other stuff. The tow truck driver, driver's here, he gave him crap. And I'm and the lady's like, well, this seems like a contract violation because if they won't let you tow them and we can't park there, how is it? And they're gonna charge us to park here. So how is that? I don't understand what the hell's going on. I have no idea, that's why I called you. I'm like, maybe you have an answer. I do see them, this is a whole lot more Should damage. I have it towed or should I have well, them leave? I can't follow the state. It's crazy. Nope, it's the old guy. Maryland, New York, Buffalo, Mass, Florida. Okay. And here's your full of your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me and Pat were probably over the wall back. He just pulled in the lot, had a suitcase, all of his clothes, computer, all his food, everything in there, and his wallet. Okay. Went in, went in his house. Uh, she said if he won't let two of us in tow it. So Yeah. He won't let you guys in. He won't not without paying. I bet you. I wonder if he will now because he knows I'm serious. Because I, I I'm sick of paying for my spots. Well I gotta pay twenty dollars a freaking day to work. Come on. How does he, so how does he know that you're not in the reserve? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Like, like, okay, so we have to pay to park if you're not parking that spot. About 110. It was 80 for the cab and another 20 for the bed. <laughs> and if there's two cars here, we don't let them in. Okay. And if you, he even watches, like, if we go, if we have somebody that comes in and don't use our reserve that's not going to be here long, they'll park over here. And he's gotten on to us a couple of times about that. Okay. Oh, he watches like a hawk. But yet he doesn't give a poop if it's a customer. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, I wonder if you couldn't walk over there and get your car right now and go over here and pull your car in here. That's what, well, that, that's what I'm supposed to be able to do. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if your manager's saying go and it's reserved spot. So I don't... That's confusing. So you have two reserved spots. You can only park there for free, but they don't care if other people park there, but they're going to charge you if you right. park. Knowing it's an out-of-state tag, knowing it's not us. crazy. Yo, that's crazy. That's why I called you, because I'm so tired of it. Why? It cost me 20 that's, uh, what, $20? 20 $100. You don't know week. until you get over here, right? I yeah. Pull into the dang thing. Wow. Yep. I'd yep. be madder than a hornet. <laughs> yeah. $100 a week is... $100 a week. <laughs> That's make or break the yeah. paycheck. <laughs> and now they're talking crap and getting all f***ed off. I don't understand. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was he was talking some crap over there. Like, he couldn't believe that you'd actually called us. He was, I don't know what the he deal is. Told, he's the one, one time, because I had to back out, because I was not paying that day. I had to back out. Yeah. Like traffic. And he's like, next time, I'll tell him. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Your manager said go as long as, as long as you tell us it needs to go. We'll give a signature and we'll tow it out of here. Do you mind if I run over there and No, there? not at all. If they'll let two of us in. Then yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you went over there and talked to him. What did he say? He said no, you can't tow it. He was saying, well, it's over there, but I don't know how she thinks she's towing anything. There's no signage and she doesn't have permission to tow anything and all right guys we've got the manager over here in this parking spot so it's kind of crazy i don't know if the camera captured it but this arcade has two parking spots for their employees two spots that are painted on the ground and say reserved that's all they get and uh, it's in this paid parking lot so when people come into this parking lot obviously they've paid to park but they'll come in here and they'll park in the two spots that say reserved and then the employees don't have a place to park and then the parking lot charges the employees so even though she has two dedicated spots for her managers she's still paying a hundred dollars a week to park because other people park in the spots and then the parking lot attendant uh, doesn't want to do anything about it and um, you know we're over here it's I don't know if they'll get it figured out or not but that big uh, f-250 is back there taking up her spot and and she's a little upset and uh, by all means she has all every right to be upset uh, about the situation. I don't know if if they'll get it fixed and we'll start helping out over here at the arcade, but um, stick around, stay tuned.
Okay, I just wanted to add another thing. That arcade pays $52,000 a year for two parking spots that are supposed to be dedicated to their managers. And this is coming from them. I don't know anything about their business. I don't know, you know, the, the, I'm, just, this, I'm just relaying what I was told by that manager. So how mad would you be if you paid that kind of money and uh, still didn't have a place to park? Uh, th you know, this is why the illegal parking is so important to get, you know, under control is for situations like this. It's just not acceptable to pay for something and then your employees are still out, you know, over, what is it, $500? $500 a spot a week that they pay for their employees to park there and their employees still can't use the spot because other people park there and there's no enforcement. No, zero enforcement. The guy at the gate says, no, no enforcement, there's no signs, which, like I said, it was painted on the ground, the two spots that they're supposed to, are painted reserved. So they're gonna try to fix, they're gonna get a hold of some higher up people and maybe try to tug on some strings and see what can be done. But I just thought I'd, I'd give you guys some numbers. Uh, you know, we get a lot of comments about, you know, I, I, I can't believe this or that's crazy. Or <laughs> when you get some numbers shot at you, then you're like, wow. That's... Then you understand why the employees are mad about not having their parking spot. Yeah, so I don't know. That may be a new uh, a new spot to get under control, guys. We got a lot of them that don't call us anymore because we've helped out. So maybe the arcade is the next go-to fun zone. You guys need a jump start? Yeah, but I'm out of gas, so it's not even going through anything. I got. I don't know how much gas I've got. We're working, but we got to wait for our first check. We got stuff in. Oh no. Pay Thursday. Thursday. Oh, gotcha. That's the only reason why I took the job, because they paid weekly. Yeah. I've got a couple of gallons of gas. We can see if it'll start. Yeah, I mean, I can't pay you. I don't have it. Right it I mean, I'm here, so we'll see, what ha we'll see what'll happen. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. It, oh, man. I know my foot swelled up the other day and I was hobbling around like you. It's it's rough, man, it's rough. Especially as hot as it is. They won't let you work now? It's just rough right now. Oh, I know, I hear you. It's awful hot. Hot, hot. Let's see if we've got enough to make this happen. This might work. You know how these jugs are. Okay. Yeah. It's always something with them. Even the new ones now, you gotta pull a yellow thing. To I know, it's like, what the heck? It's like when it rains, it pours. You know, I you know. No food, can't get anywhere to get food. So, so. Oh no. Like, damn, I can't. You see these other homeless out here that are drug addicts and they get everything from candy for them. I'm like, I don't get it. I have to five dollars for my daughter to eat a sandwich and they look at us like we're trapped. It look, yeah, that's, I don't know, it's I crazy. People, uh, people can be pretty nasty sometimes. I've never even done. I mean, obviously, I'm 340. <laughs> oh, it's no, it's crazy sometimes. People. I'm not getting out of today. <laughs> hey, it's hot. Yeah, we. Today's cooler than it's been. It is, boy. Yesterday was really nasty. Yeah, those storms come in. It cooled it off quite a bit, but. I wouldn't doubt it. Well, I thought that one yesterday was going to be a big tornado or something. The winds were kicked up and... Oh, wow, they got to make a gas jug. It's so complicated. <laughs> well, that's a couple of gallons. I don't know if it'll... You might see what it'll do. Two gallons is not going to be much. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Did it start? It did. Let's see if we can give her some money. Oh, man. That's for you. That. That's for you. Y'all come see us. You're welcome. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. You. You're welcome, my dude. My dude, you're, you're welcome. Yeah, we don't do drugs. We don't no, do I know nothing. you don't. I know you don't. I didn't realize how bad it was to find housing down oh, here. Yeah. We horrible. had left and went back, and then my boss Thank begged you, me to come back to help her. She said, I've it's been through 20 damn people at Burger King. She said, come back. I'll pay you 16. Yeah, I come back, and now I can't even get to work because I'm out of gas. Yeah. She's like, but it's you don't no look problem. homeless. And I was like, what the homeless?
Yeah, yeah what's that supposed to look like? <laughs> no. I I'm hoping we can start at Arby's at night, pulling the Arby's and doing both shifts. Doing both, yeah. We well, can get into a shelter in Morristown, but how in the hell are we going to get and back then, And then back and forth for here. here. Morristown's offering, I've got 25 years of restaurant experience. And, they, and they're offering $11 an hour. You can't get the place for $11 an hour. It's not happening. It's not happening at all. We're working for Dairy Queen. They're like, you can't work right now with that foot like that. Yeah. So we're on antibiotics. And Trying to get. get well, I, I wish even. wish you guys luck. My friend and I, works here at Evergreen. She's like, park here. Nobody will mess with you. And I'm not won't. worried about 50 Force Police. They know me. My name is They don't mess with me. They me. won't. Like, they won't. Yeah. Other homeless people, we want them the hell out. You, you're shy. Like well, you guys are, hello, you guys are, yeah, you guys are trying, gas. get some food, try to stay cool, and yes, hopefully, uh, we watch movies at night. yeah, I wish you guys the luck, and hopefully, you'll get in there, it's just, everybody goes hard times, hard times are, and I know this I area, so much, like, helping people, stop and fix the tires, and it's like, rent is, oh it's like $2,000 a month, oh just to rent a I little, my friend, she lives in housing, First week when we got down here, we stayed with her the weekend, but that's the only time we could slide Get, around over yeah. on Ridge Road. And she said, I'm struggling too at Dollywood. She you can't, like, yeah. And I mean, that's Dollywood. And they usually take care of most of their folks over there. I, I've even had. She uh, money, but she's her, her yeah. husband. Yeah. Every dime she made. We ran into Westgate. A guy was having a hard time over there, and the Westgate was offering. They gave him some housing and well, and trying to get him. To pilot, see if I can make it across the pilot. Well, I'll make sure. I'll stick around and make sure you make it across the road. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> She's got her daughter in the back. She said she was worried about people. You know, there a lot of people said, "Oh no, you guys are drug dealers or drug addicts." Or she said, "We're just trying to get by." She's. Oh, She's working a couple of jobs. He's hurt his foot, so they won't let him finish his shifts and work. And he's, she said, we turn our fan on and we sit here in the parking lot and try to work our, oh, but they ran out of gas. And she said, I couldn't even get anybody to give me $5. She said, they looked at me like I was, I was crazy. So that's the heartbreaking yeah. guy. He was, he's, uh, he's crying. He, I, I mean, guys, it's, it was 92 degrees yesterday. It's just miserable hot to try to have blankets and stay. I mean, yeah, they're, I mean, they're homeless guys. It's it's very heartbreaking. Once again, our our YouTube family, you guys, donating to us. You know, we we see stuff like this firsthand, and and uh, we get to be kind of the messenger, I guess. You know, you guys are, you guys are giving us uh, these donations to help out and. Hopefully she can make it across the street here. I only had like two gallons. There she goes. Yeah. She made it. Okay. She's safe. Awesome. She's safe across. She said they were going to get some fuel and uh, they were going to get her daughter something to eat and hopefully they'll get a bite to eat. And I, I just don't. I just terribly heartbreaking, guys. I. It, it makes you smile to be able to help because you know we, by you guys, like I said, donating to us. You just you guys just saved her day. Her. Yeah week she'll be able to get back and forth to work to get her paycheck and and hopefully uh he'll get that foot healed up and and they'll be able to combine and and get back up on their feet they said they thought they might have some stuff over in morristown but uh you know you stay in morristown and and then you're working over here because of the bigger paycheck is over here but then you got to figure out how you're going to get back and forth from morristown to here and we've got you know morristown's about the same as knoxville i guess it's about an hour from pigeon forge and Sevierville. but wow that was uh and we just happened upon them. Yeah, we. So, we were towing an F-150, and a enclosed trailer broke down for an overheat over here at Stoplight One in Pigeon Forge, and we got called to do that one. And uh, he's uh, stocking the convention center over here, so he had a bunch of stuff in his enclosed and wanted it towed over here. And uh, we just happened upon him. Uh, she said, you know, she she knows the manager at at that hotel and. And she told her that nobody would mess with her if, if they wanted to park there. And so that's why they were there. And, and uh, we just happened upon it. They were flagging us down while we were unloading the truck and uh, said that she just needed a, a jump start. But she didn't have any gas either. So a jump start wasn't going to do anything. And I, I keep like two gallons for our fuel delivery on, on this truck. And at least she's got enough gas to get across. She did. She made it to the gas station. And I wish them luck. But yeah. Big thanks again to our YouTube family, and we are off ourselves. We're going to try to find a bite to eat and get ready for our... We're going to try to do a YouTube Live, I think, tonight. Kendra's organized some stuff here, so we're excited about getting to talk to uh, 
some more of our YouTube family here and, and find out kind of what they want to hear and what's going on. And so we're excited. Stick around. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, uh, another thing that I wanted to add to that, it's just so bizarre. We find it so crazy that we would have never stumbled upon them. We, if we weren't dropping that vehicle off in that parking lot, we would have never, we would have never crossed paths or, or met. And it just so happened that that same parking lot that we drop one off that we find the people in, in just desperate need of, of help. So I don't know. It, does the stars align? I'm not sure what's going on with that, but uh, just something I thought, things that make you go, hmm.